So this is kind of an odd situation with my best and worst videos, because with all the ones I've done before this, there have at least been some good movies in there. This is not the case, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. Today, I'm going through all four Fantastic Four movies, and I'll try to decide which is the best and which is the worst. This will probably be great. So first up, Roger Corman's 1994 film. This was a movie that was made not because someone had a great idea for a Fantastic Four movie, but so the studio could retain the rights. It was never actually intended to have a theatrical release, and so was later shelved. As for the film itself, it's terrible. It was made in a budget of $1 million, and it shows. The Human Torch looks like a video game character from the early 2000s, and actually, pretty much all the effects just look hilariously cheap. Look, all the performances aren't bad, some are kind of decent, but the majority of them are terrible. The story isn't interesting, neither are any of the characters' motivations. I will say that it is sort of entertaining, how everything looks so cheap. It is so bad it's good in some parts. I don't really know what else to say about this. It's exactly what you would imagine a mid-90s Fantastic Four movie made in a budget of $1 million would be like. Visual effects are bad, acting's bad, story's bad, villain's bad, everything's bad. Only redeeming thing is that it's sometimes really funny because it's so bad, but even with that, it was just boring to me. And I'll give it a 3 out of 10. <laughs> So this is a weird movie for me. It's a movie that's bad, and I know it's bad, but for some reason, I'm entertained by it, and I don't know why. I'm watching it, and I'm like, this isn't good, but for some reason or another, even though this is a pretty poorly made movie, I enjoyed it. Regardless, let's talk positives and negatives. On the positives, well, like I mentioned, it's not one of those bad superhero movies that are actually painful to sit through, like a Catwoman or a Jonah Hex. You could totally sit through this. The cast is alright, some of the performances are pretty bad, but Chris Evans seems like he's having the most fun in the movie, and kinda works because of it. Sometimes he's way over the top, but at least he's fun to watch. I also don't hate the thing's design, like if we saw that in the newest movie, it'd be weird, but it kind of fits with the scroll. That scene where the human torch gets chased by that missile, that was pretty decent. Now for what's bad in the movie. Well for one, let me just say this, I like a good villain in a film. Victor on Doom kind of sucks in this movie. He's better than in later versions, but he's not Doctor Doom like you know him from the comics. The film is also really cheesy and predictable and dumb in a lot of parts, and a couple of the jokes fall really flat. The Fantastic Four in a few scenes also just act like children. Everyone also reacts to these kinds of things really unrealistically, which is alright since the film isn't taking itself too seriously. But when Johnny Storm is skiing with this girl, and then he bursts into flames and crashes, inadvertently creating a hot pool of water, the first thing he does is invite the girl to join him, instead of, you know, panicking. It did make me laugh though, whether it was intentional or not. A main complaint I have with this is that while some of the special effects look okay, a lot of the CGI looks pretty terrible nowadays, especially anything Mr. Fantastic does. So look, in the end, is this a good movie? No, not really. It's corny and it's stupid, but it is mildly entertaining for whatever reason. So don't seek it out or anything, but if you're lying around on a Sunday afternoon with nothing else to do, and this comes on TV, you could totally Totally watch it. Even in the parts where it's really bad, it's funny how bad it is. So it's a mildly enjoyable experience. It's not so bad it's good, it's not so good it's good, it's just in between for me. I'll give it a 5.5 out of 10. So because that first film made some money, Fox decided to make a sequel, this time with a bigger budget and more star power. And by more star power, I mean Lawrence Fishburne. So a lot of people say this is better than the first one, and some people say it's worse, and I think it's pretty much on the same level of quality. Well, here's the thing. I feel like the first Fantastic Four movie was the same level of entertainment throughout the whole thing. It wasn't good, but it was consistent. There wasn't a part of the film where I was like, this does not belong in this movie at all. This film, there are some parts that are really bad, but they're made up for by one or two parts that are genuinely really good. Alright, let's get more specific. Firstly, the positive. Well, first up, the Silver Surfer looks and sounds pretty awesome. I'd say design-wise, the way he looks, he has one of my favorite designs in a Marvel movie. Also, as far as the voice casting goes, pretty good choice. The acting is the same as the first film. Some is pretty terrible, but some is okay. Chris Evans is still the best. There's also a new element introduced where Johnny is able to switch powers if he touches people, and while it didn't really make sense, especially towards the end, I thought that it was at least an interesting element to introduce. This film is also shorter than the first one, so that's nice. And I will say, the scene where the Silver Surfer comes out and he and Johnny have a chase through New York or whatever, that is truly a pretty awesome scene. That scene elevated the film at least a a little bit for me. And finally, like the first one, it is a survivable film. It isn't boring as hell or dark and gloomy, it doesn't make your head hurt, it isn't very good, but it won't kill you to watch it. Now, for the negatives. Well, for one, Galactus sucks. In the comics, he's this awesome, huge, humanoid guy dressed in purple armor who eats worlds. In this, he's this really generic, giant space mist, and like I said, if the film's villain sucks, that's a pretty big downside for me. Also, Doctor Doom is back for some reason, and he doesn't really have to be in the film. The writing is also not that great, it doesn't have a very good pace, it takes about 20 minutes or so for something interesting to happen. The CGI I feel like they used it all on the Silver Surfer, and so the rest isn't that good. Especially by the end, where Johnny gets all their powers, it looks like a video game. And like the first one, it's predictable and really cheesy. So look, this is pretty much on the same level as the first movie. It does have a couple of weaker moments, but it does have a few moments that absolutely crush anything in that first film. So all this really amounts to another 5.5 out of 10. <laughs> 
yeah, I've already talked about this film too much. You can check out my full review, but overall, the cast is okay. Michael B. Jordan specifically stands out. Some of the special effects are decent, and the thing looks pretty cool. Besides that, this movie's boring, it's terribly paced, its tone is all over the place, the action isn't interesting, the end climax feels like it's from another movie, and you know how I complain about the other movies having a bad Doctor Doom? This has one of the worst comic book movie villains I've ever seen. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll stick by my 3.5 out of 10 score. Mainly just because of Jordan, the thing, and I liked where they were going with some things. How those things turned out kinda sucked, but I liked where they were going with it, if that makes sense. So now for which is the best and which is the worst. For worst, I could go either way, but I guess I'll go with the 1994 version. Even though the newest one is god-awful, it has more things that I liked than the 94 one, in which the only redeeming parts were the so bad it's good parts. And for the best, again, it's a toss-up. I'd probably have to say the 2005 version. It's tough, because again, none of these are actually good genuine movies in my opinion. But of the lot, the 2005 version is probably my favorite. So those are my thoughts on the Fantastic Four movies. Which one is your favorite and least favorite? Or rank them from best to worst in the comments. Be sure to like this video, check out my Instagram at bhl underscore Hudson, and subscribe for more videos like the one you just watched. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.